Hi, my name is Quentin Alsbury and I'm a product manager here at AWS. Welcome to this quick start video on how to connect to your data and create a data set inside of Amazon QuickSight. Data sets are the foundation of everything that you create inside of QuickSight. They contain the information about the data source as well as any transformations you've made to your data for use inside of QuickSight. To get started creating a data set, click on the Manage Data button in the upper right hand corner of the QuickSight home screen. Here, you'll see all of the data sets you've created or that have been shared with you by other users inside your account. To create a new data set, click the Create New Data Set button in the upper left hand corner. On this screen, you'll see all of the available data sources that you can connect to inside of QuickSight. You can upload tables from flat files like Excel and CSV, connect to AWS sources like Redshift, RDS, Aurora, S3, and Athena, as well as third-party databases that are hosted in the cloud or on-premise. We're constantly adding new connectors to this list, so if you don't see a data source that you'd like to use, check back often or visit the data source page at quicksite.aws. For this demo, I'm going to create a simple data set by uploading an Excel file from my local hard drive. To do that, I simply click Upload File and select the Excel file I want to use. Once the file is uploaded, I can either go directly into the analysis mode to start creating visualizations and exploring my data, or I can click on Edit Data Set to get a preview of the data that was inside of my spreadsheet. This is where you can make edits to your data for use in QuickSight, like changing column titles, changing the field type between string, integer, date, decimal, or geo, and you can also remove columns that you're not going to need by unchecking them, as well as add filters to remove rows that you don't need either. You can also create new calculated fields that don't exist in your original table using a variety of functions that we support. Any edits that you make here in the data prep mode will be saved as part of your data set, so anytime you or anyone else uses it, they'll be working with whatever you've defined here. You can always come back and edit your data set if you need to. If you're creating a data set from a database connection like Redshift or MySQL, you'll find additional tools available like the ability to write custom SQL queries, as well as the ability to join data from different tables together into a singular data set. You can learn more about working with different data sources in the Quick Start video on mastering data sets. Once you're done, you can jump into the analysis mode and begin visualizing and exploring your data. If you look over on the left hand side, you can see all of the columns that were in that Excel sheet now represented as fields that you can use to create charts, tables, and filters by simply clicking on the fields that you're interested in. So that's how you create data sets in QuickSight. To learn more about creating stunning visualizations and exploring your data in the analysis mode, stay tuned for our next Quick Start video on visualizing your data in Amazon QuickSight. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.